morning gel gelatinous campers. Here we are. We had some rain in the night and um, the odd gust of wind, but nothing too bad. Slept really well. I've not even looked outside yet, I don't know what the script is, so we will do that. It seems pretty calm, pretty nice. I'm going to go for a dip. I'm going to go for a dip in that town over there, wake myself up, and I'm going to get some more hiking done. Oh, do a bit of yoga, a bit of stretching. Um, and then I've got some posh coffee bag. Um, I was just on the edge with summer bag. It was never cold, but I was, could just sort of feel it just on the edge. Perfect, really. <laughs> right, let's go. Nippy. But this is gonna blow cobweb. I don't even have any cobwebs to blow out, but it's gonna freshen me up. Good start at day. But I can't talk too much on here because the thing about walking in the barefoot in the hills, which I've found out the hard way, is thistles and it's not necessarily the live ones, it's the dead thistles, man. I've stood on <laughs> stood on dead thistles and they just shed all the little spines into your foot and then just wither and leave you to deal with it and it's just a painful and it's a long thing it takes ages to get them all out so let's just focus on that focus on dodging thistles and then we're getting the nail up look at this man <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> Nippy up in mountains, like what we have in here, like it's getting. <sighs> Infinity pool and beyond <sighs> stinks, like when you <laughs> when you disrupt the mud, all gases come out and stuff. And Nice, though, dude. Look at this. Early morning dip. No one about. Wonderful. Still each breath. Socks, swim shorts, out to dry, there's not much sun to dry them, but every now and again you get a little blast. Coffee bag, get into it, look. Oh, smells good. It's basically just your posh coffee, but in a bag. Jitter juice. Get the old heart palps going. <laughs> President Palpatine, whatever they call it. There are worse places to have a brew. There we are. Just the bag. Leave no trace as always. Back on the road again, look. Back. We're off. Where are we going? Don't know. Often for me, it takes a couple of. You really get into it after the longer you spend just doing this sort of stuff, 
the more you sort of, you you get into a rhythm and you uh, I don't know you're acclimatized to it I guess I know that sometimes when I just you know if I don't have much time and I've got a, you know I'm trying to get up to the top of a mountain to catch a sunset or I've heard there's a clear sky so I want to take some photos of the stars and I'm up I do it I'm back down that's amazing but when you're here for a few days you sort of you slow your pace to the pace of the wildness <laughs> if that makes any sense because you, you know I rarely have signal up here and I've got no no worries of normal life so I'm just sort of going at the pace of the mountains and I like it feels good might go get up top of there get some proper vistas Merino wool layers have long gone. I don't know what time it is, mate. It's about one o'clock. But I've had nothing to eat all day. I've just been uh, just been going off that coffee. Well, that's wearing out now, so I'm just going to stop and have a a little bit of a bite. Shoes and socks off. Let feet always. When you stop, always let feet air out, man. Give another little chance for these socks to dry off. Shoes to drop, boots to dry a little bit. I just sit down, do a bit of sunbathing. <laughs> in this glorious little place and then with the energy of my food i'm going to get up to the top of that top of that unit and we're going to get some vistas 360 views and then i'll see what's off the other side might come down that way back into this valley or I might come back down and this way who knows let's fill level on this uh, same sort of vibe yeah Blueberry and vanilla muesli. Spot on. Can't see upside of me. I've got my pants undies on anyway, and it's got a little liner in it, so it's not going to be a plum out. I'm ready for it. Muesli with a view. Viewsly. Hey, a real, real talk, real termat. You should do a little campaign and call it Viewsly, and then just get people to take pictures with it. With it. In fact, no one steal that idea because I'll email them. <laughs> I'll tag them with hashtag Viewsly. Let's have a go on it. Got blueberries in it, bits of apple. Oh, mate. Oh, it's nice to have something sweet as well. Vanilla. What else has it got? Whole grains, flakes, syrup, apple chunks, MCAT. It's all got, it's got lots of stuff in it. 380 calories. Not as much as the main meals of an evening, but you don't need it. Well, I don't. This will fuel me for the rest of the day, exploring up and down these mountains. And as long as I've got enough water, then I'm energised. I'm good to go. Right, you don't need to finish. Oh, yeah, in fact, let's turn you off anyway while I finish me viewsly. Lovely little rest. Check I've left Newt. Suitably refreshed. Can feel energy off that viewsly. I might sprint up there. Fast track to the top. Whee! Here 
There we go. Fast track a Rooney. On top of Mount Rushmore in Zakynthos, Ibiza. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty stunning, get me out of there. Look, I'll just put me in for context. <sighs> 360 pans, mate. Yes. <laughs> Nowhere. I might have to look at my OS map actually because I fancy it. Might I head over to that peak, look. Hit that one. Trying to maybe swing all the way around there, but I want to be in this valley. I'm just randomly milling about. So, can I show you? Well, you can't really see now, but there's that place where yesterday I was like, oh, that'd be a mint place to camp. Next to that river. I'm going to go there, but I'm going to go loop all the way around over this ridge and then come at it from the back way. I've plotted it into GPS, so hopefully won't get lost, but that's the mission is to sleep there tonight. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to hug this round this ridge here, down into that valley. And then I don't know what's beyond there, but we're going to try and make our way back up and over that ridge as well. So some decent hiking. That's what I want to do. Good hike so that I'm tired by the end of it, bit of an early night. It's, um, it's forecast to be cloudy later so there's no point in me going up tops to look for sunrises and stars and stuff. That's just not what this trip is about. We're going to go down and sleep by that river because it looked like a nice place to kip. There's some glorious views through here mate. Hey up. What's this? Medic! Dirty swines! So, the thing is, right, when you find dirt bags that have done stuff like this, I'm in the middle of nowhere, like I'm off the beaten track here, I'm not in even away. But, you know, the thing is, you can only take so much. And it's um, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. It's a tough one to deal with, really. I find because you have to draw the line. Like you can't always. You can't. I can't go around picking every bit of litter up that I see because I'll be constantly doing that in some places. And then you feel guilty if you miss a bit. So you've you've just got to be like, right, no, I'm not doing it. But then occasionally, if it's like in the middle of nowhere. And there's just a little bit and you've got room in your in your thing then yeah then definitely pick it up but don't and i'm guilty for this but feeling guilty for not picking it up you've got to let it go because you can't do it all you just can't it's like when i moved to big city when i was younger and there was the homeless people and at first i would give them all money like as much as i could the change and stuff and then I realise, you soon realise you just can't. You can't do it all at once. Plus, I bought one of them a pasty and sat and had a pasty and uh, gave him some f food and some money and then he nicked my bike, so. There's a, you know, make of it what you will. Right, let's take that snout box with us. There's not many footpaths or anything and can't see any humans, which is a delight. But what I have seen, if you can see it shining on here, a little body of water, I don't know how deep it is or how big it is from here. So I'm supposed to be going along here, but I'm going to detour up onto here. Have a little look at that water, see what's guining on with it. Sack off my original plan, that's what you can do mate, when you're out just pootling around, bimbling. What's the Scottish word for it? Aldo Kane put it on his Instagram a bit ago, there's a Scottish word similar to bimble. Not in sound, but for meaning, you know, just to walk, like, aimlessly, sort of aimlessly. Well, to bimble is to, like, purposefully, what is it, purposefully wander into a, like, where you don't know where you're going, but you're going there pur with purpose. That's what I'm doing. You walk with purpose, but you don't actually know where you're going. And that's metaphor for life, guys. Metaphor for life. 
Don't worry, it's not blood, it's just um it's just spray paint from farmer. But look at his uh look at his coat. Decent specimen. Eight out of ten. That little that little body of water that I swam in this morning, that's where I got this water last night. Because there was no other there was no other running water, so no other options available. And you know, although although I'm sure it's fine, I've got time and this is just coming from the top, it's just a little burr and it's fast flowing over these rocks, so it's a lot, you know, it's a lot better. So we'll ditch the stuff from last night and I'm just gonna uh, take some I'm just going to take some time to fill both of these water bottles with with some fresh clobber. I'm quite thirsty now, so I'll probably I'll probably neck a full bottle of this and then fill two bottles up to take with me, and that should do me for the rest of the day. Um, I only need to cook my meal and stay hydrated, so it should be all right. I made it from over there. This is where I came through, through these two, this gap here. Cut all the way down there. And I've come over here, there's no paths or anything. It was a bit boggy, because I wanted to see what this was. Let's go and have a closer look. I think it's just a, <laughs> it's a shallow bog, if I'm honest, but, you know. Let's have a goose. How deep is it? It doesn't look very deep at all. It looks like a squelchy bog that as soon as it because as soon as it <laughs> when dusk comes I reckon it'll be a flood with midges. Let's have a go. Can I get out onto this little island without without cacking it? Look. Oh, full of just full of smeg. It's not the one. Oh well, if you don't go, you don't know. It's pretty nice. Looks nice. But I had visions of it maybe being swimmable and with a little place I could pitch my tent next to it. But no. Oh, sinking. It's a bit too bog myrtle. Ah, oh, sun's out again. I went up there, it's a little bit too windy to do any filming. I've just scrambled down the side. Now I'm walking across here. There's no real path. It's a bit of a, a bit of an ankle biter. I can hear running water, like it sounds like there's a It's all too shallow though. Or is it? Can I get in there? No. Or can I? Oh my word, look at that. A secret little thing. And there's fish. Makes me to cycle with 
Can you please help me find my way? Cause I don't think I can enough today. Celebrate on your own. That was unbelievable. I'm not exaggerating on when I say that that was one of the best experiences I've had in a long time. Oh, I'm cold, man. I stayed in there for a bit too long because I was, like, I was just having a good time. Just diving down, holding onto it rocks. Oh, mate. Holding onto it rocks and just looking at the fish. There's loads. About six or seven. What looked like trout. And they were just jotting around. They got used to me and they were just swimming about. I'm cold to my core, but that was just fresh. The visibility was amazing. <laughs> Woo! That was sick, man. And I was just enjoying just watching little fishes. Are you having it? Stayed in a bit too long. TBH, but worth every minute of it because I loved it. That was amazing. <laughs> highlight, highlight reel. Like a little grotto under there, all the water dropping down. Ah, oh. that looks quite deep in there. Look at the beautiful colours on this rowan. Beauty. Big fan, mate. Well done. I like what you're doing. Look at this one, man, it's deep. I can't resist it. I'm gonna have to go in again. As soon as I've got out, the sun is just... Oh man, I feel it in my goosebumps on me. I cry. The coldness of the water is in my bones and I can just feel the sun on the outside of me. This is it. This is it. This is pure enjoyment. Just from the elements. The coldness of the water, the heat of the sun. As happy as I've ever been. It's just such a good feeling. Oh. That was nice. That was nice. Right, what I'm going to have now is in my first aid kit, along with me tweezers. I've got a haze mirror there. My tick mirror. And I'll leave a link below. I'll leave a link to everything I've used today, but. Uh, on this video, sorry, but I will leave a link to these as well. Um, zero sugar, zero calorie. Um, they're just great when you've been doing exercise. It's all natural flavours. It just puts a load of minerals and stuff and fills you with electrolytes. Um, top tip, if you're going to be going out, say you're going to a stag do or you're going out on sauce, bang one of these in a big jug of water or a pint of water before you go out and then have one when you get as soon as you get back have one and then as soon as you wake up in the morning have another one and it rehydrates you and replaces all your electrolytes and you feel you feel brand new I'm gonna have one now I'm gonna pop one in my water it's been hiking and swimming and mucking about all day and I've only had 300 and whatever calories, 300 and whatever <laughs> from that Viewsley. That's all I've had all day is the Viewsley. So, one of these rehydrate me, stop me bonking out. I'm gonna lie on here like a lizard. 
and just heat myself up. Oh, lie on this rock like a turtle or whatever, a gecko. I've had to put my hard wool on. I mean, I can't go in again because I'm too cold. I keep get, if I keep going in, it's just going to get ridiculous. But look at this one. This is it. Oh, man. <laughs> That's even deeper. I can't, I can't. I've just done two long, like, pissing about, swimming around and that. Two, in short succession and, oh, I can't do another one, it's too cold, I'm too, I need to warm myself up. If I'd have found that in an hour, I'd have been in. Everywhere's a bit boggy, but I'm just looking for somewhere half decent to pitch my tent up. Right, look, that, that's where I'm going to pitch my tent tonight, a grand old spot, look. <laughs> Relatively dry, considering, like, everything around here is boggy. This is pretty good. Get one wick, 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 cap. There it is. Me and Joey D kipped like this the other day in our tents, just no, no how to fly on. And it's really good because you can still ogle the skies. Just no midges on you. Nice through breeze. Perfect. But I don't know if I dare risk it. It's forecast to all go to shit. <laughs> sorry for sorry for saying shit, but that's life. So I'm gonna put a fly over. It, it rained last night and we're in the lake district, so anything can happen weather-wise. So I'll put a little lid on. Not a bad view. What are, we, what are we on? Don't matter, does it? Chicken tikka masala. Should have put more water in. It's a bit dry. Like my mouth. <laughs> Baby food, isn't it? Wow. That is tasty. It's just been great. No signal. I've just been focused on what I've been doing. I'm listening to one of my podcasts maybe a bit of my audio book and then just get an early night the clouds are rolling in the top half of that peak is completely covered in clouds you can't even see the peaks back here it's, all the cloud is is coming in which is good because it means I definitely made the right decision to come uh, to come down off the tops into the valley so I mean I can see stuff around here but it is coming in, you can physically see it. I mean, you can visibly, <laughs> visibly see it. You can audibly see it. You can see it if you just look at it, if you just... Oh, my brain's gone to mush. Dark clouds and rain. Oh, the midges are out now. It's getting on a bit, so I'm just going to get my head down. Have a bit of an early night. And then crack on it morning. Oh, the midges are out, like...
See you tomorrow. Morning, Peanut Head. Hold on, Peanut Head. What's going on here? Peanut Head. Nice one, Peanut Head. <laughs> um, there I am. Survived. <laughs> Didn't survive, I thrived. It was raining. It was raining for a lot of the night, but not heavy, just enough. It was really nice, actually. And just drifting off the sound of this river, it's just like white noise, which sounds torturous, but it, in, it was very soothing. And uh, helped me drift off and had a really good night's sleep. Getting a bit of a snot on. Happy days. Right, let's get up and do a bit. Oh, it was a moody one. Quite chilly this morn. But beautiful. Beautiful pitch, look at that. Man, immersing myself in nature. Ah, beautiful. Let's get this, let's get this bad boy packed up and, and continue along this valley. There we are. Just a flattened bit of grass. Leave no trace. See Chapman. The sky's looking pretty pretty nice actually. That'll wake you up. That will wake you up. <laughs> ah. Now lads, you up to you on me much? Doing out nice for weekend. Small talk guys, come on. You watch Game of Thrones? A bloody heat wave is uh, hot at night, innit? To get to sleep. Alright guys. I'll see you later, not if I see you for you cheeky. See you later. Small talk with sheep. That's my new series. Excuse me, are going anywhere nice and holiday? Right, forget it. I guess that's it <laughs> for this one. I've only got to walk, unless something magical or tragical happens, but I've only got to walk down and through this valley. I feel like Jumping off there and having that wild swim was a nice little full stop in this adventure. And it has been. I mean, it's not even six o'clock in the morning and I've... Uh, and I can't tell you how much I've needed that either. For my... For my bonds, man, I've really needed it. Because I've been in a bit of a rut since being ill for so long and being on, like... My own little personal lockdown. It, pap it peppered me fucking oh, swear. I keep swearing, so I have to cut it. Um, it peppered me bonds. Totally peppered me bonds. I wasn't feeling very good, but <laughs> I feel great now. Just what I need. Thank you very much, Mother Nature. Mother Nature's healed me. There's just a couple of little things I wanted to say before I bounce. Look at all the. Heat. First of all, I'd like to just say. Why go on with amount of sheep on path? You don't like the small talk? You want to get deep with it, do you? What do you think's out there? Look, look up at the sky. What do you think's out there? What do you think's meaning of life? What happens when you die? Uh... Right, what's going on there? I'll have these in background actually while I'm having a bit of a chat to you. I've left this till end of video just so that it weeds out it weeds out all stragglers, and uh, you just the, the the real ones are left behind. And I'm talking to you. We have 800,000 subscribers, and I know that a lot of them are. Look at this, this is good, isn't it? I know a lot of them are just like Russian bots and dead accounts and whatever, but it is a milestone that you can see written down, and it does feel. I feel quite good about it. I feel quite. I don't know, proud, I guess, about it. And uh, I just wanted to thank everyone. Joey D. 
It's like an acceptance speech or like I'm going to die or something. Joey D, always. Uh, everyone I've collaborated with over the years and everyone who's put up with me, shout out Alice and shout out Carly. Um, yeah, and just thanks to you lot. I really do appreciate it. And that's it. I shan't waffle on about it too much. That's it. Because I'm, I've got to navigate my way through this sheep fest. The, um, the biggest shout out I want to give is, uh, is to my dad. When I've really needed it, he's been there for me. I'll dedicate it to him more than anyone, I think. If you're watching, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, mate. And, um... Thanks for joining me, as always. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and thanks for being with me on this milestone. Nothing but love. Nout but love to you all. And I will see you soon. Au revoir. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do one of these ones for 100,000 subscribers special. Ah, oh, love you all. Bye. I'm like Jordan trying to rise on to the dunk. Now yeah, I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were war, then I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bars all have gone by by the month. Now yeah, I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were war, then I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bars all have gone by by the month.